<laughs> I see you, boy. I'm trying to get Gunner on there right now. What's up? What's up, Isaac? Mr. 209, I see you, man. Let me try to get Gun on here, man. I see Beatrice, Eve, Mr. Clean. I'm waiting for Gunner to tap in right now. I know. Yeah. Watch it. Hey, go on there. I'm gonna put the. I'm gonna be on there right now. I'm gonna right, put the link in the box, bro. All right. Yeah, I'm on there. Okay. That's right, Isaac. I hear you, brother. Artie, you back? What's up, Antonio? Bang, bang. What's up, man? Oh, you know, shit, just living. What's up to all the hint out there, man? You guys never thought you'd see this, huh? <laughs> hey, so, right. hey, we were tapping in earlier yesterday and earlier boxing, and, and, man, we were tapping in about that, uh, your upcoming fight, man. What is it called? The road to fucking beating someone up or what? <laughs> yeah, the road to war, man. The road to war. And, uh, yeah, man, quiet as it's kept. I've been seeing, you know, first, first about a couple months ago, man, you had one opponent, uh, that guy over there, Savage Studios, and then he, he flopped out. He fell off. We knew that was coming. And then, man, it was, we were trying to find you an opponent, bro. We were trying to find you an opponent. And it was either guys would tap in and then tap out real quick or one reason or another. And then, so little Toto rose to the occasion, right? Or we kind of just put him in the mix. How yeah. are you feeling about little Toto, man? I mean, little Toto, that's the homie. You know what I mean? Uh, it's mm -hmm. all good. It's all good, bro. But uh, um, honestly, little Toto just kind of he kind of fell in because he's like the only opponent that was that was left, bro. He was the only thing that was there, man. Uh, it wasn't uh, it was. It's not a fight I would have picked, bro. You know, no disrespect to little Toto. He's the homie. You know what I mean? I want to go in there to somebody uh. Going there with somebody, uh, just somebody different, bro. You know what I mean? What yeah. It is, yeah. It is what it is, man. Yeah, it's hard to, it's hard to word around it, bro, when when it's a homeboy that's involved. You know, little like I said, little Toro is the homie. And uh, but it's it's like it's just a and I'm gonna without fucking making him feel any type of way, I mean it's just a different caliber of 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 uh of a fight, you know what I mean? Yeah, so uh and then there's no disrespect to Toro, like you said, man. It's just a whole different caliber. Anyone that knows knows. You know, you got you don't have yeah. to be right there to see it. You know, for sure. No, and, yeah, it's nothing like that, man. Yeah. So I was thinking, right? I was thinking I was going in, in in my emails through my channel and everything, and one name keeps rising to the top, bro. And and it's like I don't know the history, man. I know you guys got an extensive history. I know you guys have been friends for a lot of years. Uh, um, you're he's in your book. Uh, so obviously you know the man, right? Probably a lot better than I do. But uh, you, I, I, I was thinking, man, and this is just my honest opinion, the fight I would want to see, the fight I know the hint they would want to see, and I don't want to put him on the spot. He's my homeboy. But at the same time, man, I think just to justify it and just to be for the people, by the people, I'm going to stand in the people's corner right here and say, man, what's up with you and Rojo? 
Convicts oh, perspective. Man. What's up with me and Rojo? I mean, shit. That's the homie, man. You know what I mean? Um, that's the homie, but goddamn, I would love to get in there with uh Rojo, man. You know what I mean? And uh um, uh, I know that's what that's what everybody wants to see. Be honest with you, man. Uh um, uh, with with respects to little Toro, I was checking out the comments after we announced um uh, that fight, and uh I didn't get the kind of welcoming that that uh that I was expecting, man. People were like, Oh man, why'd you pick why'd you pick that fight? And uh you know what I mean? You wanted somebody, uh, you wanted a worthwhile. I mean, they were slamming the little homie. You know what I mean? It's just not something that it seemed like anybody wanted to see. But the one name that they kept throwing out there was Rojo. You know yeah. What I mean? And that's uh, that's that's something I've been pushing for uh, for a while now, man. So that's mm. the one. That's uh. So I I was talking to Rojo the other night. I was kicking back at his pad. I was actually chopping it up with them, and I. And I mentioned it, you know, I mentioned it in passing. I mentioned it, just kind of threw it out there, fishing a little bit. You know, would he be willing or able or, or you know, to, yeah. to even think upon it, to think upon it? Because, you know, people have said things in the past to him and he's kind of shined them on or for one reason or another thought, man, you're not going to try to cause friction there or turmoil within the circle. But right. uh, I kind of put it out there point blank. I was like, would you be willing to take something with Boxer? I mean, if, of course, if everything falls into place, everything's right. Uh, he said, uh, uh, you know, he has a couple health concerns. Anyone that knows what's going on, Rojo knows that he has something going on with his stomach. And, uh, and, and that is what it is. But I do know personally from what he told me, and I could tell you here first hand information that he does have a, an upcoming doctor's appointment in the next few days. And he told me if everything went well with that doctor's appointment, he'd consider it. He'd be willing to get in that ring with you. Now, of course, I'm not going to say stamp it and say, this is, for sure, I'm saying this is what he told me, and I'm saying, uh, you know, of course, the, the ball will be in his court. If you're willing to take the fight, if you're willing to officially uh, issue the challenge, then I, of course, will get on the phone with them, let them know that it's concrete, stamp, you issued the challenge, and then we'll go from there and, and wait for his response, you know? Oh, man, if if that's what it's coming down to, um, issuing the challenge, uh, I'm, I'm going to put it out there right now. Uh, I'm, I'm calling Rojo out straight up. If, if he can do it, if he can get medically cleared, um, that's the homie. Make no mistake about it, man. Uh, I've been knowing Rojo since he was a little flat-chested kid, man. Uh, I know a lot of people said the first time that I called him out that that uh, that he was scared, um, that he didn't want to fight, that he didn't say nothing. Rojo ain't, Rojo ain't scared, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if there's anybody that I think is a worthy opponent right now, it is Rojo. You know what I'm saying? So anybody that thinks um, that he don't want to fight or that he's scared of me, you guys, you guys are wrong, man. Um, that'd be a good fight. But I'm calling him out officially right now. If he can get medically cleared and it's a go, let's do this shit, man. Let's do it. Yeah, I definitely uh, I definitely will talk to him. Like I said, I, I'm along with you. I, I'm going to fight for this. And reason being, it's not to put anyone on the spot. It's this is what the people want. You know, we're not here. Yeah, exactly. Regardless of what people may think and what haters may think, we're not here to uh, uh, just throw some card together and and here, you know, you give us this, we give you whatever, something mediocre. We're here to give the people the best product that we can put out. And I know that's your name is on it. And I know when your name's on something, you try to be as professional and, and, and as righteous as possible. And I think for the people, man, and not like belittling the little homeboy, uh, uh, Toro, but at the same time, man, I think it's something even he would want to see. You know, it's something yeah. everybody wants to see, man. So, like I said, I'm going to make a couple phone calls again to Rojo, see where he's at. But the last time I talked to him, which was just uh day before yesterday, uh, he told me, you know, it's all hinging on his medical clearance. If he gets medically cleared, he's there. He's ready. Yeah, yeah bro. Go give him a hug, a couple of uh, brisket steaks, man. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> hey, tell him, let, let's, let's do this shit, man. Uh, I mean – I know he's been sick too, man. I know he's got medical issues. Uh, that's why I haven't reached out to him uh, yeah. the last week. You know what I mean? Uh, letting him deal with this stuff, bro. But uh, hell yeah, man. Uh, that's what uh, yeah. that's, like I said, that's what everybody wants to see, man. That's what uh, that's what everybody yeah. put in the comments, man. Everyone. And I, I think I think 
that's that's the true world to war right there because this is something that's been brewing now for months. You know, it all started with the with with the misconception by the people out there. You know, we've talked about a box where people take one word and they misconstrue it and they just run with it, right? And that's what happened. And I mean, then we all get back together and everything's smooth and then it happens again and then they just run with it. And they gotta understand, man, when you have a circle, man, not everyone's not gonna see eye to eye all the time. Yeah. You know, not everyone's we're all in different places, so we can't be all on the same page exactly. So, you know, in this YouTube genre, in this YouTube world, man, we kind of jump the gun sometimes and just mm. say what's on our mind. And, you know, we're not consistently on the same page. But within this fight, within what's going to happen right here, I can guarantee the people that we will be all on the same page. And we all want to push the best product possible for the hint thing, you know, most definitely. Most definitely. And uh, I've got I've gotten with Flaco as well as Mike Salinas. Um they are not aware of, 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 you know, what's going on here. Like I said, man, it's all news to all of us. It's the official call out. Um, I'm just telling you what me and Rojo were talking about personally. And so now they know. And I'm sure they'll behind, be behind this 100%. Because, I mean, just like us, man, they want to push the best product possible. You yeah, know, so. Of course, man. We don't want to, we don't want to give them uh, just, you know, a fight that, uh, like I said, man, I can't say it enough. Uh, the, the little Toro, I think he could be matched up with somebody else, somebody, uh, uh, you know, maybe another rapper or somebody. Uh, there's just somebody else out there for him. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, I just yeah. think it, it could be could be set up better, man. And uh, I don't want to just settle for for what I what I can get, man. Um, you know, the 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 one was Savage. Oh yeah, the one. But you know, uh, we all know what happened with that, man. Uh, wow. You know, uh, well, actually, hey, actually, I was gonna, hey, I was gonna tell you too. I was gonna call you earlier and, and elaborate on that. He actually, uh, I was watching his live. You know, cause hey, you know, I happen to, hey, there's someone on live, man. It might, it might come across my feed. So I popped in and I seen that he's, he's going through, you know, a different character, different week with a guy named Spike, and he's talking about if he can get back on a, on a certain card and maybe see this guy Spike. Now, of course, that, that's gonna be right off the top. We're gonna have to decline that, that offer. Ooh. And yeah. that's just based on, man, you know, we want guys that are going to show up. Exactly. You know, I, I know you're going to show up, and I can guarantee if Rojo's medically cleared 100%, he will show up. So, and Thoro will as well, you know, and anyone else that we bring to the table on our side. But as far as that guy and what he's got going on, man, that's just frivolous antics again, and uh, we're not even going to uh, consider that guy, you know? Yeah, yeah, right, right. Yeah, it was, I mean, uh, it sounded good for a minute, man. But like I said, we all know what happened with that. But, you know, this one right here, this is, uh, this is, uh, just, just as good, man. Um, uh, it'd be just probably a better fight, honestly. I mean, the only difference is people wanted to see fucking, uh, uh, Savage get, get his motherfucking block knocked off. You know what I mean? Oh, exactly. Was oh, yeah. it, wasn't like, it wasn't like people wanted to see it because he was going to give a, give me a hell of a fight. Um, uh, you know, uh, uh, that that's all it was, man. That's all. That's all. That's all he was bringing to the tables. People wanted to see him get his ass. Oh, right, yeah. You know what I mean? Well, and it's only a matter of time before, you know, someone catches him slipping out there and it happens on camera. So that they're, the people are going to get theirs eventually. It's 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 only a matter of time. You know, his mouth is, is too wide open. But when it comes to you and Rojo, I wanted to elaborate more on it because not as this. This is not a grudge match. This is two friends that that are of equal size uh, 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 of different qualities of ability but both have uh, certain abilities mm. this is basically what people want to see not necessarily a grudge match where i hate you or this hey this is all business nothing personal you go in there handle it everyone can say you know he's gonna have fans on his side you're gonna have fans on your side it's just i think it's 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 a chemistry is better on a fight man when the guys don't have no hate towards each other they're just gonna get in there on a professional level and handle business you know? Yeah, there's no, there's no hate, but I'm sure there's reasons why he's gonna want to go in there and give me a good fight. All them goddamn essays I used to give him, all mm. the verses I used to give him. You know what I mean? Uh, oh yeah. Uh, and and on the flip side, you know what I mean? Uh, I'm already bald, man. But uh, uh, yeah, he sometimes, man. Uh, he just, we just lock horns, man. You know what I mean? So yeah. there, there's, uh, there's no animosity, but th it'd be a good fight. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. obviously, you know, it's when when you guys got a, such an extensive history that goes all the way back to, you know, San Quentin and being incarcerated as well as on the streets together that, I mean, 
no one on this YouTube platform, no one on this anything is going to know you better than Rohan. You're going to know him better. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. There's no one with that quite of history. So, I mean, I'm sure he's seen you in action. He's seen you the way, you know, I mean, he tells me, man, the way you used to have uh, doing them, having them guys doing the Machina was a, it was like the Terminator, right? So he knows what you're capable of, and I'm sure you know what he's capable of. And if you haven't seen it firsthand, everybody's heard about it, you know? Yeah. So I, I think, man, like I said, after we get off this live, I'm going to go ahead and give him a phone call and uh, see where he's at. But like I said, man, one thing about Rojo, he's very reserved. He doesn't change his mind, man. If he's going to do something, he's going to do it. And like he says, as far as his mind is made up, but it all hinges on this doctor's. So he don't want to sit. He told me I'll accept the challenge immediately, but he doesn't want to accept the challenge. And then later on, the doctor's telling me it's a no go. And then how's that going to look? You know, and I understand if I know Rojo. It'll be a go, man. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. It'll, it'll be a go. And uh, just just, just, just for validation, man, if you guys want to see that fight, let me see some ones, man, in the comment section, man. Let me see, huh? let me see some ones, man. This but is the fight everybody's been asking about. They've been asking for Boxer and Rojo. We're going to make it possible. We told you in the end we were going to find the right opponent, didn't we? Well, guess what, ladies and gentlemen? We found them. Yes, you know, sir. it took it took time. It took a lot of effort. Um, and it's not about scrambling and over just grasping at straws. I mean, the, 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 the challenge was issued a long time ago. The, the uh, It was always in the back of everyone's mind. People have been asking for it, people that really know what's up. But at the same time, man, we just we were trying to go a whole different route. And we finally realized that, man, we just got to give the people exactly what they're asking for. Yeah, and that's yeah, definitely. it. Definitely. You know, I think. Uh, like I said, man, the way Rojo was looking that night, the way he, he was, uh, he was very interested, you know, he was very interested and, and he understood, you know, of course I threw my best, my best Don King out there. And I was like, gave him the reasons that it would benefit him. And I didn't see, you no, know, it's like a, it's like a scale. I see nothing but beneficial uh, areas. I didn't see nothing that would not benefit him because at the end of the day, man, just like I said with me and Chola Trucker, uh, yes, of course, the win of the loss, everybody wants to win in life, but man, just showing up, in this world, because a lot of people won't show up nowadays, is a win in itself, you know? Yeah, yeah. You know? That's what paints a bad picture on, on Savage and guys of that character. They're always talking, but they never show up, right? Look at all these so ones, just, man. Yes. Just stepping in that ring, man, is a whole different animal, man. It's a different level. You know, all eyes on you. You know, people are watching from all around the world. And you're going to have your fans. He's going to have his fans. And, I mean, the nerves are there. Whether you fought a thousand fights before, it's just a different level, man. When you're on a pay-per-view and uh, you're the main event and there's nothing like it's everybody's dream. I'll tell you that right now. To be yeah. main eventing a pay-per-view is everybody's dream. It's different. You know what would be interesting, man, is is Rojo. He's a likable dude, man. Uh, yeah. I know I know a lot of the viewers on uh, Convict's perspective, they, you know, they, they like him. He's a, he's a likable dude, man. Uh, so uh, uh, I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of people that they're gonna want to see him cream me too, man. You know what I mean? They're they're uh, there's gonna be people uh, uh, behind him, just as I'm sure there's gonna be people behind me, man. So um, that's what's up, though. You know what I mean? Though uh, it's all love, man. You know. At the like I said, at the end of the day, man, it's 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 what the people want. If the people are gonna pay their hard-earned money, if the people are gonna take the time. If they're going to put forth the effort, you know, to to uh, to pay attention to what we have to say, to listen to our spills, our content, whatever it is we're spit, man, then uh, the only way we can see by giving back to the people, man, is to give them exactly what they want. And, and I understand that Toto has his fans and there's a lot of people that might want to see that. But at the same time, man, it's not beneficial for him, for you, for anyone involved, man, to see something that I'm just going to be totally honest without disrespecting the homeboy wasn't going to end up in his favor. I'm thinking, you know, I mean, I'm just. Yeah. I'm just throwing that out there. That's how I felt. I mean, these anyone can catch someone with the lucky one, but that's just me. You know, no disrespect to Toro. That's the homie. Yeah, yeah, but definitely. At the, at the same time, I think with you and Rojo, it's going to be a, just a much better level of competition. And uh, not only that, I mean, we got big Rojo and we got big boxer, man. You can't ask for nothing more. There ain't two more individuals size-wise matched up on YouTube that I think uh, people want to see, you know? You got a visitor. Hey, thank you, Miss T. What did I miss, man? Oh, you missed a whole lot. Let him know, Box. Oh, I called out Rojo, man. 
Oh, wow. You're going after, you're going after my partner, man. The thing about, no, nah, no, nah, no, nah, man. The thing about it is, um, you know, uh, uh, and man, I, you know, I'm just, it's just a call out right now. So, little Toto, if you're watching this, man. Oh, shit. Rojo's tapping in. Shit. Oh, here uh -oh. we go, man. Oh, he was tapping in. Woo! Oh. <laughs> um, you know, I probably should have I probably should have talked to Little Thoto first, man, because I don't want him to see this and be like, what the fuck's going on, man? But the thing about it, bro, is like when we announced the fight, when we announced the fight, man, uh, I just didn't see the kind of welcoming that, that I was expecting, man. People were like, man, why are you really taking that fight? You know what I mean? I'm not even going to waste my time with this. And uh, they were slamming the little homie, you know what I mean? Uh, and, and I was getting slammed, too. Like, why did you pick that fight, man? Oh, that shit's weak, man. You know what I mean? So. Um, like Gunner, like the rest of us, I want to give them what they want to see. You know what I mean? Um, and everybody's been saying, man, uh, uh, Rojo, you know, Rojo, that's the fight. That's the fight that's out there, man. That's it's the best, the best fight that's out there right now is, is Rojo. They keep saying it. Rojo, tap in, man. I seen you tap in and then, uh, you popped out, man. You know, what's kind of interesting now for the listeners out there, man, is, uh, we're making available 30 seats for this event. And, and without, if, if Rojo accepts, oh man, we've, we're already down just to 20, 20 seats left guys. We have 20 seats left, man. So if you, those of you want to tap in, man, uh, road, road to war VIP, uh, VIP at gmail.com. You're going to either speak to me or uh, Mike Diaz from the uh, Salinas report. Tap in, man, because the tickets are going fast. We only have 20 left, man. And so I know a lot of you guys are interesting. We're doing all pre-orders right now because this event is going to go down. If Rojo oh, takes this, if Ro takes this fight, man, this is, these people are going to really want to want to attend, man. Exactly. Also, go ahead, uh, box. Uh oh, here's the man of the hour here. Uh oh, he yeah, was in. Here he goes, man. Hey, so trip out. He's, he's teasing. Yeah. I got exactly. another. I got another quick announcement. Also hinging upon Rojo's acceptance of this fight. Um, just like my last fight, I will have two golden ticket winners. I will elaborate on my channel, Gunners Collective. Give you guys on how to go to that, how to get involved in that. But I will have two golden ticket winners. The golden ticket winners go VIP, just like the last two with me. Uh, no questions asked, all expenses paid, um, everything furnished, backstage, total access, in with the fellas right there. Of course, you will be vetted. My security team will vet you. So I'm scared they might even pet you. I can't call it, but at the same time, if you want to be involved, I'll give you guys the link to how to get involved there. And uh, we will have two golden ticket winners on Gunners Collective, hinging upon Rojo's acceptance. If not, well, I'm going to be Jason. putting in the work doing commentary. Go ahead, Box. No, nah, I'm just thanking uh, Jason, man. Uh, yeah, but that's uh, that's what's up right there, Flacco. You know, uh, uh, I mean, what's, your, what's your thoughts on it, man? Man, I think that this would be the fight that everybody want to see, to be honest with you, man. Let's, let's keep it real. Before even the Gunner, Cholo Trucker fight was going to happen, there was early talks about the Terminator versus uh, uh, Big Red. That's you know what I mean? There was. That was supposed to be the original event. So, I mean, it's all up to Rojo. It's up to his health and all that. Man, I can't speak for the man. That's my partner. We haven't even discussed anything, man. But um, I think it'd be a win-win situation. I think that's what people want to see. You know, you guys are about the same size, too. Yeah. You know what I mean? Same height. Both have some boxing experience. You know what I mean? Both around the same age. So no one yeah. can use age as an excuse, you know what I mean? You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, you know? I like hey, like I was telling Boxer Flacco, this is um this is what the people want, you know. The the last one, we were kind of giving uh, giving them, you know, uh uh, you know, the unity aspect of it, which was uh, you know, the real story, man. And and it did bring a lot of good hinted together, you know. Um, form some lifelong friend friendships out of that. But I will say this, this one right here, this one right here is for the people. This is what the people want. If the people want to see some 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 violence, if the people want to see some some real fists being thrown, if the people want to see some real heavy hitters, this is where you're going to get it. You ain't going to get it with Jake Paul. You're not going to get it with this riffraff. You're going to get it right here with Boxer versus Big Red, the Terminator versus Big Red. That's hands down. This is what the people want to see for over a year now. Okay, I, I'm going to put I'm going to put the, the the listeners. How many listeners we got right now? Viewers, Boxer. Oh, where you see it at, man? I can't see it over here. Okay, for the viewers out there, I want you to put one if you got Team Terminator, and two if you got Big Red. Let's see what the people think. Yeah, hey, I appreciate that, Richard. 
One for Team Terminator, two for Big Red. Hey, man, and, uh, it's all good, man. I, I, I'm not tripping off who you guys go for, man. You know what I mean? No. You got one and a half. <laughs> Let me see. One. Okay. We got 350 watching, Box. Here comes Rojo. Come on, man. Don't tease us again, man. We're seeing twos, ones, twos, a lot of twos, a lot of fours, ones, twos. Hey, I think it's I think it's about 50-50. Are you set? I don't even think that's Rojo. Is it? Probably not, man. Is someone playing a game saying that they accept, bro? Yeah, that ain't Rojo. Hey, why don't you want to show your face, though, man, if you want to pop in like that? Uh... He put a big red screen, bro. <laughs> yeah, nah. Man, nah, nah, nah. man that's, I, I'm getting calls right now for tickets right now, bro, too. As a matter of fact, I'll call you back. If you, if you tapped in, brother, I know, I know you, uh, you're uh, you trying to call me. I'm going to call you back. Uh, I definitely will say this. I definitely will say this, that like I told uh, a boxer before, uh, Flaco, that I did talk to Rojo extensively. We did sit down. We discussed it. And like I said, man, he's totally in acceptance, hinging on his medical clearance, which is coming up in a couple of days. If the medical clears him, it's a go. This is coming from, of course, you're going to have to refer to a convict's perspective for the official response. You know, I'm sure they'll want to do it on that channel as is, uh, uh, you know, righteous. Um, but like I said, it's just all hinging on that medical clearance, man. So, doctor, if you're out there, Fucking clear him, eh? You <laughs> know, in that fashion. Man, we we've been. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna, you know. I, I just did a video with him right now, man. We just, we're about to drop it any minute. Um, pretty good one. Um, I'm gonna have to talk to him, man. I'm gonna, I'm have to see where his head's at. And I'm gonna tell him that you know, for the people, and for what they want to see, this may be something that he should consider really seriously doing. You know what I mean? Um, this will make this a big event. This is what people have been wanting to see like six, seven months ago when they were taking jabs at each other. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um you know what I'm saying? So we can see what we could do from there, man. Um, I, think exactly. it'd be, I think it'd be, I think it's, I think it'd be a win-win situation, man. You know what I'm hey. saying? I mean, oh yeah, it's it's 100 uh, percent uh, uh, elevated to that next level. It's leveled up, and I say this is the uh, the new name, the road to victory. All business, nothing personal. You mm -hmm. feel me? Because that's what it is. It's all business, nothing personal. These are two friends, long-standing uh, friends. That, uh, you know, like I said, tit for tat, there's been things been said here, little innuendos. But at the same time, man, all that's cleared up. But now, let the let the bell be the reason. Let's settle them issues in the ring. Yeah, it's, big brother, it, it, it's big brother versus little brother. You know what I mean? So big, bro big brother wants to go in there and hold it down, but little brother's trying to come up, you know what I mean? And show yeah. little brother he got something too, you know? That's what it's going to turn into. Yeah. yeah. So, and what these guys don't understand, though, is, you know, at times when there's been a, uh, hey, Mike, tap in, Mike. Selena's report. Get on there, Mikey. What they don't understand is when we have our issues, just like anybody else, man. Uh, this is this hinges on a, like a twenty something, twenty something year uh, relationship, man. Uh, you know, people try to feed into it and think thinking that we're gonna be at each other's necks or that we're gonna fall out. It ain't gonna happen, man. No, uh, a lot of times people ask, you know, what's going on. Uh, these guys are taking shots at each other. It's not like that, man. I, as much. Is is some of the people out there would like to see that kind of drama, man? It's not gonna happen. You know what I mean? Uh, we we lock horns every now and then because we, there's things we don't agree on. Um, I might go to sleep mad and I wake up. You know what I mean? Everything's good, man. And uh, you know, it's so it's all love, man. You know, you guys read into it too much, or some I some agree. Of you guys out there, you know. Yeah. Hey, at the end of the day, though, um, read into this. Read into the fact that we're providing the spectacle here. We're going to provide what the people want. So whether they think, hey, this is just talk and, and, and maybe there is some type of animosity or maybe there's some underlying truths or whatever you think, hey, may, that's the reason for you to tap in. But I'm telling you, the real reason to tap in here is where else are you going to get a fight of this caliber? Two ex-NF members, you know, two real-life gangsters. So there's a difference between being a gang member and a gangster. Two real life gangsters that were really doing that at a high level get in that ring. You ain't gonna see it nowhere else. No one else is gonna provide that. We provided the first North versus South that we're providing for unity, and we're providing the first all NF. 
Let's do it. Total versus men's. We can we can make that we can make that happen if a man's willing to uh, get in there. <laughs> like I said, nothing against little Toro. I just think at the end of the day, man, this is what the people want, you know. So yeah, definitely. And what's up with you though, Gunner? What's up with the what's up with the buzz that was going on a a, a couple weeks ago between you and uh, Tony from uh from stories written by a prisoner, Tony locked up, trip out. So this is what it is. Uh, when it comes to Tony, uh, he called me out officially. I accepted. And uh, it's basically like the same thing with you and Rojo. We're friends. But at the same time, you know, he brought me, him as well as Flacco brought me into this YouTube uh, thing. And so now, you know, he feels like, okay, uh, he's ready for me to challenge him or for him to challenge me. And, and I accept it. Um, now, as far as, as when we're putting that together, that's going to be in the foreseeable future. We don't have no dates, no times right now. We're trying to do it on a whole different level. You know, he, this guy's big time YouTuber, so he's trying to do things a certain way. And like I said, it's his party, bro. I'm just coming to dance. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. So I'm just like, you know, I'm playing it by ear. I'm going to sit back. Uh, as soon as they give me a date, a time, I'm fucking going into maximum Terminator drive, right? It's time to start. This last time, man, I didn't, sh I showed up, but I didn't show what I was capable of doing. And there's no excuses. That was all on me. You know, I didn't prepare righteously. Uh, I took Cholo Trucker lightly you know yes. and he that man has heart and he gave it his all and uh even with his all though man I, I i didn't feel nothing you know i didn't feel nothing there's nothing but love and respect but at the same time man if i would have went in there and i were to really train man it could have been a whole different situation most definitely with tony man i'm not gonna he's a big guy tony's tall man he's about six two six three two sixty to 280 so i'm giving up a lot of weight as well as a lot of height you know what i mean so that means i got to give up a lot of fists too so that's where that stands. Hey, on this uh this card, too, one of the things that uh um that they've been throwing out there is uh to have uh two females fight, man. Uh, I don't know, I don't know the reality of that happening, but um it's something that people have been throwing out there, man. We could definitely I definitely got um so I definitely got some contacts with uh shout out to diligent boxing as well as going ganas and uh and the uh, Gardello camp as well as Ryan Garcia's camp. Hey, hey, thank you, Tony. Tap in, uh, Tony. I'm gonna leave the link in the uh, in the in the chat box. Uh, so I'm definitely gonna get with uh, a couple of my contacts boxers see if we can't make that happen with a couple females. I know there was supposed to be a couple females involved in the mine and troller trucker fight, but at the end of the day, man, they were just young, and we didn't want to really get involved with that. We didn't know, you know, the intricacies of of how to play that out. Now we're kind of more seasoned, and. Yeah. Uh, we're definitely, we're definitely trying to get some females involved. I know that hey, that's another thing. Like I said, if we're going to put this extravaganza on for the people of what they want to see you and Rojo, then we might as well give them the full meal deal, the full package, you know? Yeah, most definitely. So, ain't nothing wrong with, ain't nothing wrong with a little bikini fight? <laughs> no, not at all, man. And in that fashion. So, hey, so what it is, Flacco, so what do you think, uh, what do you think Rawls thinking? What's going through his mind right now? You're closer to him than anyone else. What do you think's going on? Big Louie. I, I think he got to be strongly strongly considering it. You know what I mean? I yeah. think he, I think he's playing the tape out in his head and he's thinking about how uh you know what I mean beneficial it could be for both our all our platforms and you know what I mean? I think it's something that maybe he, he's gonna have to consider and, and probably take. You know, you gotta yeah. you gotta play all variables when it comes to situations. I'm walking to the car. Yeah, like I said, if I know Rojo, man, uh, local nasty. You got to show your face before I let you in, man. Most definitely. The red. At the end of the, the hey, the at the end of the day, at the end of the day, boxer. The main thing is safety, and security. <laughs> and so we'll see. Orale, Ari Marine. What's up with that maneuver, man? Menu. <laughs> that's my boy, right? Do it. I had to time in one. I had to chime in one time for your mind. See hey, your that's face. right. Hey, 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 there's big boxer and Flacco. So what you think about this fight, man? I'm ready, man. I'm ready. I love them both, man. It's hard to pick and choose, you know. I want to see it get down. I'd rather see Savvy, though. I want to see his ass get beat, but he ain't ready. <laughs> oh, don't trip. Hey, hey, he, we might see him at a stoplight one day. But hey, trip out. So, yeah, so, uh, so, hey, it's a hard one. I know you're fans of both, man. Do you think that would be a good fight, though? 
Personally. I think it'll be a very good fight. I think it's ready to go. We got some two big heavyweights from the Bay. Or, you know, I don't know where Rojo's from, but it's going to be good, man. I see uh, Team Terminator in the house. That's right. That's right, man. That's well, how they check in one time with you. Sorry to take up your time, but I'm at work getting paid, doing what I do. That's right. Hey, that's, that's a right. real that's a real big supporter of all our channels right there. No, I know. I know. He's always tapping into my channel too, man. Most definitely, man. He's a big supporter of the of the genre, man. He's a, he's that's the one right there. I already nothing but love, bro. Nothing but love. I appreciate the work you guys do for Rasa and for everybody out here, all these fake internet trolls and these haters. La verga, as you say. <laughs> that's that's right. right. You know how we do it. <laughs> Orale, Artie. I'm going to tap out, man. You guys have a good one, man. You know I'll be out here all day in that fashion. Hung, 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 hung. Man, what kind of gun is that? What the... <laughs> <laughs> it's a pipote. That's right. You already know. Orale. <laughs> Los vemos, cabrones. Orale. In that fashion. In that right, matter, bro. That's right. That's right. <laughs> That's a good guy right there, man. But, hey, just like he said, Boxer, he, uh, I mean, hey. Two big boys out of the bay. Battle of the yeah. bay for reals. Battle of the bay for reals, you know? Yeah, I'm ready. Two man, guys that have two guys that have a lot in common, man. Both from the Bay Area, both been in the Bay. Uh uh, you know, both careers started in the Bay. I mean, like I said, it's the true battle of the bay. Who else you wants know? to tap in, man? Who else wants to oh. show their mug? So, so a, a boxer school. Do you think uh now that hey, you're now that you're that, now that you're going to be taking on a different type of opponent, as opposed to Toro or, or these other cats, right? I take it you're going to have to switch up your whole game plan now. Yeah, hey Richard, thank you, man. You always coming through, man. Yeah, with uh with uh roll. I mean, it's a similar it's a similar fight, man. Uh, that's a brawl. You know what I mean? It's a brawl with somebody like you. You got to fight somebody like you, man. Uh. You got somebody like you. You got to fight them close, man. Uh, so you can't throw nothing. Man. Yeah, somebody exactly. Like, somebody like Rojo, that's a similar build. Um, that's just a brawl, bro. You know what I mean? Similar to the way that uh that I was thinking about Toto. You know, little Toto's a, a short, stocky cat. You know what I mean? Oh, uh, who was it that said uh we were short? I think you said that. Oh no, no, that was I think that was Rojo, man. Uh. Toto's way shorter than me, man. He's like five six. Yeah, he's yeah. he's a little he's a little guy. He's like five five at, on a good day. Yeah. Yeah. Don't nobody else want to tap in. Uh, none, of these, none of these regulars want to tap in. I think you and Rohar are, are more matched up physically. You guys are pretty much there. You guys are. Yeah. It's, it's just gonna be. It's like I said. You could take two guys from this whole YouTube thing. And they can't be more matched up better than you guys on paper. You know what I mean? Yeah. The ring's a different story. You know, the hands are a different story. No one knows that until they see it. But as far as the, on paper, you, you don't get no better. Period. You know? She's so, already, they're already showing uh, Rojo some love, man. They're saying a lot of people didn't think he'd take the fight. You know what I mean? Well, yeah. He has to take the fight first, though, man. We haven't heard from him yet. Hey, if I, if I know Rojo, um, and I've been knowing him a long time. He'll be there. You like know I, I mean? said, I, I'm unless, telling you. Unless I'm telling you. Doctors, hey. Unless the doctors <laughs> his insides are falling out, man, uh, he'll be yeah. there. Yeah, like I said, man, I'm telling you, uh, Flaco, you were on earlier when I said that I talked with Rojo extensively. We discussed it. We talked about all the merits and, and all the benefits of this. And uh, and I left believing, just like he said, that he would take this fight hinging on the doctor's uh, – on the doctor's order, if the doctor said it's all good, he said he's down, you yeah. know. So, like I said, he's gonna. He told me once he goes to the doctor's appointment, I'm not even gonna know. The hint they're gonna be the first ones to know. We're not even gonna know. We're gonna find out with the rest of the people. There will be some type of response on the Comics Perspective channel. Yes, sir. Orderly base bully. What's going on, fellas? Just want to say What's I appreciate right? you guys' work, man. That's Thank you right. very much, That's brother. Right. Thank you, man, brother. Thank you. Yeah, Rojo and. Uh, Big box, that's a match, man. Everybody wants to watch. That's the Hell one. Yeah. Hell yeah. I'm ready, man. All right, man. I just, want, I just wanted to show my appreciation to you guys, man. Keep it up. Gracias, base bully. Right, Thank, Thank you, you bro. Man. That's right. I see you. Likewise. Likewise. Yep. Yeah. 
We appreciate all the hit you know they put on there and show their face, huh? You know what? Someone just hit it right hit it, man. One of these guys is a 49er fan, the other guy's a Raider fan. That's right. Battle of the no, Bay, I'm telling you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Hey, you know, this is the battle this, of the bay, man. This is the battle of the bay, man. This is this is all the way down the line. Like I said, is it was it was like meant to be, you know. A a a free from fetters grow. Why don't you tap in with us, man? He he got a little uh, a little uh, YouTube following too, man. He got about eight thousand subscribers. He got his little channel. I've been checking him out, man. He's been supporting our channel. Why don't you tap in with us, bro? That's right. I appreciate you. Um, like I said, man, battle of the bay. Uh, battle with the seas, battle, whatever you want to call it, it it's going to be a true battle. So, and uh, this one will be promoted right. Had to, you got to understand that first one was a learning experience. This one right here, the ship right here, this battle with the bay, this road to war. You know what I mean? This right here is the real one. This right here, there's going to be shirts, there's going to be posters, there's going to be those little. There, you're going to get. Everyone's going to be able to get them some type of memorabilia from this. Because you ain't gonna see yeah. nothing like this ever again, you know. This right here, there's there's not two people of this caliber that are willing to get in the ring like that uh, on a consistent basis. This is probably a one and done thing as far as anything of this uh, magnitude. You know what I mean? Hell yeah. yeah! I thought Tony was gonna tap in, man, but uh, he probably didn't have his mask. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say, man. <laughs> yeah. Got you know, I yeah. talked. I talked to him. He said that he 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 uh he probably wants to. He does probably want to attend this event. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, maybe even the press conference. He'll talk. You know, of course he's gonna have his mask on, but he said he wants to. He wants to be there as well. Yeah, and, and support the event. You know what I mean? So I already talked to him about that, like like about three days ago, actually. Yeah. You know what I mean, I believe I also boxer just personally. I believe that. With with the type of exposure this is gonna bring, and, and just the excitement of, of something of this caliber, man, I, I believe a lot of people are gonna be a lot of people that necessarily weren't tapping in a few days ago, will will be tapping in now. You know, that's just yeah. my thoughts. Yeah, I, I believe that. Hey, uh, thank you, uh, Thizzle Pop, Gunnerverse, Mister Capone, <laughs> Mr. man. Capone. You tell that Assyrian fucking Albanian motherfucker stay over there. <laughs> now, hey, I listen to his music. It's all right. Watch, hey, watch my spill tomorrow. I, it's going to kind of tie into Mr. Capone. Just watch that on Gunner's Collective. I got some fucking shit out, coming out that ain't never been out before. Who's hey, Mr. Capone? I, I've never heard of him. Who is he? Some, uh, Salva, what is he, a Syrian or something? He's oh, not really? a McDonald. He's, he's some, I don't know who he is. Hey, he's from down south. Shout out to all the real Sureños and the real Southsiders. At the same time, I can't yeah. call it like an alcoholic. That's about to oh. fucking, he is what he is. Boxer versus Chuko. I beat the brakes off Chuko, man. <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, thank you, uh, Gilberto Hernandez. Damn, Gunner, I feel bad, man. This was supposed to be on your channel, man. Nah, hey, don't even worry about it, bro. Like I said, at the same time, not real, I'm not worried about it. Let's, uh, 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 let's just take it how it goes, bro. You know what I mean? It is when working out. It's working out. When was the last time Flacco, Flacco, man? It's been about what fifteen years since I've been really Flacco. Now it's been about five years, probably. So you've been sober for five years. <laughs> 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 hey, I can't wait for this fucking fight, man. If if Rojo accepts, this is. Uh, I'm more anticipating this, and I was anticip that I'm anticipating my fight. Tell you the truth. Chuko's uh, older, older than Boxer. Yeah, he is. Hell yeah, man. Uh, shit. 90 days, man. Uh, that shit's going to go by fast, man. Yeah, I definitely... Uh, and I'm just going to be totally honest, man. I'm t I'm definitely going to uh, gonna have to go train with Rojo and get him up to par. Because knowing what I went through last time, uh, it's just not a good look. You know what I mean? So I figure I got some training to do too. Maybe me and him could train together. I'm always at his fucking house anyways. <laughs> I mean, so uh, I might have to take a little flight to Houston, go over there and get it with him. I know we're putting the carriage before the horses right now, man, but uh, uh, I, w I, I would hope he would put some uh, some training videos out, man, if it works out, you know. See, see how he works that bag, man. 
If they well, were sure. free from the Fredders Grove. He said he would like to tap in. He just had two teeth pulled, so he's laid up today. But we'll tap okay. in, tap in soon. He got some good content, boxer. I've been watching this stuff, man. Two teeth you know pulled. I mean? How many you got left, man? Yeah. I appreciate the, him though. The Scottish, the Scottish, the Scottish regiment is test tegument. They said spelled tegument wrong. Regiment wrong. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let me see what else we got. Boxer versus fools gone wild. Um. Nobody else wants to pop in, huh? All these uh, these regulars, man, that that I see, man, uh. So what the Hampton needs to understand is, this is not. We're not doing make believe here. Where hey, hey, I'm hey, gonna call stop. you out. I'm gonna call you out. This is real. This is real deal right here. These guys, if they get in the ring, there's gonna be real fists being thrown. So you gotta understand, man. Okay, okay, stop. Salad Bowl Electrician. You can get at us to Road to War VIP at gmail.com. You'll either hear from me or uh, the Salinas Report about potential sponsorship because I see you're an electrician. If you're trying to sponsor this event, do reach out to us and we could have some discussions and, and see where we could uh, help add you to our sponsorship. Yeah, I need some sponsors, man. Wear, wear Jason's Electric on the back of your shirt. Uh. Like like Flacco said, definitely tap in with either Flacco or Salinas Report, and uh, you know we can go from there. Yeah, I'll do that if you sponsor shit. Yeah, you got to remember that uh, in everything that you do in life, man, money talks, right? And we're not out here trying to be some cutthroats and and get you hard uh, people that work hard for your money for every penny you got. That's not the case here, man. Uh, what we're trying to do is just provide some good, good wholesome fighting. You know, some good, wholesome, uh, it's an exhibition fight, you know, for the people. Some some to stimulate your mind. Some you can sit back and say, wow, I seen that. Because, man, these are both historical figures within the NF. That's not even a question. There's books. These guys are in books. These guys are, are, are uh, both been around for a while, you know. So to see guys of this caliber willing to get in the ring at this age, it's something you're not going to see again. There's not a lot of individuals that would do this. That I promise. You know? Boxer with Lancho. Oh, man. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man. I would fight Lancho with one arm, man. It still win. I tried to give up that fight in the county jail, man. He wouldn't take it. I'll fight two Lanchos. Hey, that's a different level of character there, ladies and gentlemen. His sister Stephanie probably give up a better fight, man. Yeah. Most definitely. You know, we could talk historical figures and we could talk guys uh, uh, that we would like to see, you know, fight, imaginary fights, things of that nature. But at the, end, but at the same time, man, Lencho's not even on that list. Yeah, hey, the thing about it, too, though, uh, Gunner, is is like you were saying, man, uh, um, you know, they need to understand that it is about it is about them, the viewers, what they want to see. Yeah. Because if it wasn't, um, I would have just stuck with, with uh, Little Toro. Um, or, or whoever I could get, man. Um, I, I said it in the beginning, it's who you guys want to see in there, man. And uh, overwhelmingly, that's that's what I've been seeing is, is role. So it is all about what you guys want. You know, it's not what I who I want to fight. I want I would want somebody that's going to give me a good fight in there, but it's all about who you guys want to see, you know. So that's why, uh, when I seen the comments the other day, man, uh, I started working on uh trying to find somebody else man you know so so i'm getting i'm getting text messages from uh, big louis romero right now telling me that rojo really is a lions fan <laughs> hey big louis hey if, if he's a lions fan you already know he's already gonna lose it before the fight starts man <laughs> hey that's fun. <laughs> you know i got love for you louis big louis is that big louis the homie yeah he texts me right now that's right hey um like I said, just like Boxer just got done saying, man, it's all about the people, what they want. And uh, I'm right along with them, man. I think that this is the best option for everyone. Uh, uh, it's the most lucrative option for anyone. But uh, but at the end of the day, it's it's what I would like to see the most. You know, I would, oh, of course, I would have loved to seen Boxer beat Savage's ass. I would have loved to seen me beat Savage's ass. You know what I mean? Um, but at the same time, man, you know, we're talking about real guys that will really show up, you know? And so 
that was kind of far-fetched in itself. I couldn't believe when that kind of fell in our laps. And I knew it, it didn't last but 24 hours, you know, and then that sizzled out. This one right here, hinging upon this doctor's release, man, it's on a cracking. Yeah, somebody keeps mentioning the crazy stories, man. That dude's a clown, man. Come on, man. man he don't he don't he don't want to fight. He's just trying hey. to get some views and some uh uh yeah subs, that's, man. The, that's the one guy Lencho might be. <laughs> yeah. Real talk. That's the one but, fucking guy Lencho might I mean, be. That, that video of him hitting that bag, he should be ashamed of himself, man. He shouldn't even have posted that shit. He looked at the bag like he got mad at the bag, man, when he got he tired. Him. Hey, you tell Crazy Nick right here. I'm telling you right now. Crazy Nick wants to get in the ring. I ain't going to give him that time. But if he wants to get in the ring, I'll have my little homeboy Toto handle my lightweight and beat him up. It's right there. The issue, the challenge is already issued. If you fucking want to show up, Crazy Nick, show up and Toto will beat you up for me. Period. Uh, hey, your boy Savage Studios wants to tap in, man. <laughs> tell him get on one time. Keep it, keep it him. Tell him get on one time if that's what he wants. Hey, fuck you, Gunner. I'll knock you out. <laughs> okay, that's a whole, hey, that's a whole thing. Yeah, it is, man. That's a whole thing. That sound like fan slap, yeah. Sound like, uh, yeah, uh, uh, Savage. Slop. Hey, who we got right here? Sergio G. All right, he tapped it. Hey, we, hey, the invitation's open. I mean, if Savage wants to get on here and debate and talk about, you know, uh, uh, this guy Spike, or even me, or what, whoever he wants to talk about. That I mean, it's right here, stream yarded. It ain't nothing to it. We're right here. We ain't going nowhere. Yeah, these that's cats don't want to show their, these cats don't want to show their faces, man. They want to play, man. Yeah, they like to play, man. I mean, hey, if that's the first part of the battle, man. If you show up, you show your face. That's I mean, it's not too hard. We can't look at rawr, spider. I can't get to you. You're good. You're safe. Just show your face. If not, do it pushing, man. Go over there and fucking support Crazy Nick. At least he shows his face. Boxer versus Rojo and uh, Gunner versus Little Toro. <laughs> I ain't fighting Little Toro. That's my little homie. That'd be a good one, though. Yeah. Hey, but I ain't fighting on this card. I'm doing commentary oh, Paul, on this Paul, card. Paul from, LA, <laughs> Paul from LA Times, Captain. He said, according to Rojo, you has 40 amateur fights. Box, you better have it together to deal with a former amateur. Respect to all. Have a good one. That's Paul from LA yeah. Times. I I ain't worried about it, man. Shout that's, out to Big Paul. Yeah, uh, uh, I appreciate your opinion, man, and that's that's I'm not worried about it. But uh, it's all good, man. Hey, it's gonna be a good one. I can tell you right now, man. I'm enthusiastic about this. Very very <laughs> good fight. Hey, motherfuckers be trying. Hey, they want Gunner to fight everyone. Like I said, man, there's a list of forty, a long line of forty motherfuckers right there. Go ahead and get in line. I'll catch you and I do. By the time I get to that fucking list, I'll be 80. It's not all about fighting all the time. This is something we're giving the people for the people. I already got in the ring. We're giving this to the people. This is what Boxer wanted to do for the people. This is what hopefully Rojo is willing to do for the people as well. You know? Um, I had an agenda to push. My agenda was unity of the Rasa, showing people that's what I was really about. Boxer has his own agenda he wants to push. Box, uh, Rojo, I'm sure, will have his own agenda I want to push. It's not about this frivolous fucking wordplay on here and I'll fight you and I'll fight him. And It's not about that, bro. I'm just saying a schoolyard and we're not here to uh, appease everybody. You know what I mean? We're here to give the real ones that support us a show. But all these other ones that are trying to push a narrative on you should fight this guy or that guy, hey, Verga, you fight him. <laughs> Straight up. I ain't fighting no one. No, Davis, Davis Lance, right now, I don't have no intentions of fighting at this current time. You know, See? but who knows? Who, who knows? Next year, next next year will maybe a different story, man. But me, I'm I'm not. I don't competitively fight no more. I did when I was younger in mixed martial arts. We're actually in, in martial arts. Um, hey, Dizzle Pop, man. If I could, I'd take that fight in a in a hot New York minute, man. Neil Desire. Oh my goodness! Yeah, that's one I could consider. He, but, he's, you know, he got one answer for that, man. Uh, you're not active. I can't. When you see me, you see me. That's, that's all. all hey, you know what? And that's their excuses. And let me explain something to you. This active, non-active. This is just words, right? That's an excuse that they hide behind. Oh, you're non-active. I can't fuck with you. But you'll watch my stuff and you'll pay attention to what I'm doing. Real actives back in my days, you're not even supposed to acknowledge them like they're fucking not even there. Like they're just, you see right through them. So yeah, the moment you acknowledge me, 
The moment you acknowledged me, you became just like me. It's you acknowledged me. It's the same thing being in the oil, right? Doing your little DTRs for the day. You know what I mean? You're supposed to pick up on everything they're doing and take notes, but not expose that you're listening and watching everything they're doing. So anybody that's getting active on, 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 on YouTube and comment sections, man, either either the game done changed or these dudes ain't really active. That's just the reality of it. M Dog, I'm gonna put the uh I'm gonna put the link in the in the comment section. Hey, thank you, man. Uh appreciate that. Two dollars shit. I'll tell you, back in the days when I was active, I wouldn't even, I didn't even know how to spell fucking YouTube. I didn't even know what that was. If you were really active, you were out there fucking in the game, out there in the regiment function, you were too busy to be on YouTube. Nowadays, it seems like all the actives are on YouTube. It's a trip. Thank you for the views, but at the same time, damn, is that how it's going nowadays? It changed. Flacco changed. You know, back in our days, we didn't fuck this. We didn't have time to make a profile. Shit, we were out there fucking getting it. Yep. You know, didn't have no time to sit back and make a fucking profile and troll people. It's crazy. I don't like oh. act, I don't like active. I don't like that word active either, man. I yeah. don't like I don't like I don't use labels or, or categorize people. You know what I mean? Like you know what I mean? I judge everybody as a man. You know what I mean? Whatever your past is, is your past. What you're doing presently. I mean, that's just who you are today. You know what I mean? If that we, was got the case, if, we got it. We got Ty. Yep. I, I've it. been on your guy. I've been all three of your channel. We appreciate it. Uh, I just wanted to say when I heard Rojo was going to get involved, I thought, "Damn!" I thought, "Damn, this is going to be this is going to be better than I thought it was going to be." Hell yeah! Yeah, it's going down. Damn, I'm... most definitely, Ty. We appreciate what you doing, driving truck or what? Uh, that's probably me. Oh, well, that's you. <laughs> that's right, man. Hey, what you doing, Ty? Interstate or you uh? All right, can you guys hear me now? Yeah, oh. we can hear you. I run all over. Oh, okay. I've been. I run all over. They said the they, they, yeah, I usually, I started. I started my career out running forty-eight states, but uh, now I own my own truck. So I always, I'm, I'm on Joey's channel. I'm always pushing. You want to get in a truck? You live out in the valley. There's jobs out there. Yeah, that's what I'll the teach you how at. to do it. Yeah, yeah. that's right. That's right, you know, bro. Like I grew, I grew up in San Jose, and when I hear all three of your stories, I'm like, damn, I I know that area. I've been that way. That's right. Most definitely. But but this but this uh this this match. It's going to be interesting because I like Rojo and I like boxers. So it's like, damn, I don't know who I'm going to choose. <laughs> hey, just, just kick on back and enjoy the fight, man. No. We're gonna, I think I'm going to start a betting line too. Yeah. You know what I mean? We're going to start yeah. you know, taking percentage bets and all that, man. <laughs> I think I think this is uh, – and that's going to be a lot of people's thoughts because they're so loyal to both channels and, and they, you know, they like the personality of boxer – as well as the, the uh, personality of Rojo, it's going to be hard for people to decide. And just like Boxer said, you don't have to make a decision. Just enjoy the fight, man. That's right. That's exactly what's going to happen. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, th this is one yeah, of those... See, they're both very know. quiet individuals. Yeah. There you go, a Ty. A man versus, a man versus little Dave. <laughs> Yeah, they're real quiet, so they're silent but deadly. You ain't lying. There you go. Yeah. All right, I'm going to get off so someone else can get on, man. All you right. guys have a good day. What's you too, brother. What's, Thank you. What's up with Bubba from Fresno? Order it, Bubba from Fresno. Junior G, we don't. We got we to gotta wait Rojo's response to it, man. Hopefully, I'm going to talk to him and see what – I mean, if, if his doctor appointment goes all right. And maybe we'll drop it, man. Ho hopefully, you, you can't – we don't know how he's going to work this, man. It's all hinging according to the inside backstage information. I'm telling you right now, it's all hinging upon this doctor release. Your cousins of John, uh, John Blanco and uh, uh, Robert. Mess up, uh, John Blanco was a big dude, man. Yeah, from Saho? Yeah. Yeah, I know him. You know the him. Blancos? The Blancos hey. from Saho? He's been in the fence since like he just got. He's been in the fence since like ninety two. 
I yeah. used to be with their I used to be with their cousin. Uh, were you? Jessica. Okay. I know that's, that's a family, the Blanco family out of San Juan. I know them. Yeah, I know the Palacios. Yeah. I know the Palacios, the Blancos, all them. Yeah, I know all the Palacios and Blancos too. Mm hmm Who's that? Bubba's cousin or what? No, someone else. Oh. They from the P. Yep. Yeah, man. So uh uh it's it's just, I mean, like I said, Boxer, you the Fisher call out is there now. Um we don't like we're not making it like, oh, it's all on Rojo's back. And if Rojo ultimately says no, then I mean it is what it is, but we're just saying that uh according to the you know, I wouldn't even I wouldn't even brought this up. Or even ask the question if Rojo, if I didn't think Rojo was about ninety eight percent in, right? And like I said, that other two point uh, two percent is in the doctor's hands. Uh, mm -hmm. Besides that, man, if the doctor gives him a green light, then it's all full go. You know? Yeah, definitely, man. Your health. Yeah, 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 first. Robert. I heard, I, I heard that. I heard that he just got out, man. Um, he was in Atwater for a while in a couple other facilities, man. They they used to use him to open up yards, man. But uh, John John Block, your 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 family, man. He, he's a beast, man. He was with the business. Yeah, um, I think that uh, 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 I think this right here is going to be the one, man. This is going to be the fight for fight for fight for fucking the ages, man. This is the one. I, I can't wait. I'm hoping Rojo, uh, you know, is able to do this. But like I said, at the end of the day, what matters the most besides the people uh, getting to enjoy this is the safety and the health of you guys. So as long as everyone comes out healthy and safe, a little, a little fight ain't never hurt nobody. There ain't no, uh, regardless to who I get in there with, there ain't no head uh, headgear, um, nothing like that, man. Oh, yeah. No, some most I, definitely. Some of you guys have been asking about that, but I'm not. Someone I'm said, not it. Someone said Boxer always looks head. mad and grumpy. <laughs> no, man. I, hey, but you know what? I'm always, I've always been misunderstood, man. Come on, man. Yeah. You gotta be. Uh, you got. You gotta be around boxer in person to know that man. He has the same demeanor even when he's telling a joke. Hey, he's a Puerto Rican. That's how the Puerto Ricans are. They uh, they always look mad and shit. Hey, yeah. look. Straight up, this this is what I'm looking at, boxer. I've looked into the athletic commissions. I've looked into everything just to cover us. You know, at yeah. the end of the day, man, we have to cover what we're trying to do here. And hey, and 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 I I hate to give the details on the rounds. But I will just say that uh, according to the Athletics Books Commission, being that this is an exhibition fight, I want to reiterate that to the people, an exhibition bout um, mm -hmm. with YouTube celebrities involved, I will say that we can pot, we can go three three-minute rounds, okay? Um, and there's no wiggle room around that. So it'll be three three-minute, some of the most vicious three minutes, three rounds you've ever seen in your life, I promise that. But that is where we're going, and that is why we will try to provide five to six other fights on the card, as well as I'm thinking a little concert or something like that. Maybe even I might get up there and do some stand-up comedy. But uh, that's what we're looking at, man. Three three-minute rounds to do it within the realms of the Athletic Commission. You know that way. Rounds, can, how many rounds you and uh, Cholo Trucker go? Uh, we actually went five rounds, and um, but they we were didn't two know better. They were two minute rounds though, two go. But because those were two minute rounds, Boxer, it it, it was the equivalent of what you guys are going to go in three. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. But we also had the headgear. We also had the full uh, whatever. But without headgear, it has to be three three minute rounds. With headgear, you could extend it. I know you ain't going for the headgear. I don't think Rojo would either. So I'm saying three three minute fucking just get in there slugfest Kimbo slice type rounds. Mm -hmm. And the people are going to get exactly, exactly what they want. Of course, if we could stretch the envelope and, and, and I'll have to talk to some of my people in the boxing industry, but if we could stretch it, of course, we're going to do what we can to most of the people. But as of right now, that's what it's looking like. That's just totally being upfront and honest. You hear that triple OG, you bitch. I'm being honest. Three, three minute rounds, Bobo. So I know you're watching. Yeah. Tap in one time, man. Uh, yeah. Why don't you should put your face up here and Minnesota. get some off the chest. Triple OG. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. He's a triple OG. Hey, look. But, yeah, what I'm saying is uh, we're going to do everything by the book. And I'm not going to sit here and tell you, oh, it's going to be for charity. It's going to be for this. It's going to be for that. 
No, at the end of the day, there's a lot of overhead costs. And we will make sure that those costs are taken care of first and foremost, right off the top. You know, uh, just like, hey, you got no one, no one's crying about charity when Floyd's getting a billion dollars, huh? So don't no one cry when Boxer and Rojo get paid. So that's part of the game. Double. Someone, someone from Concord nine two five keeps on saying serious Rojo about all that action. You'll find out. Well, <laughs> we'll have to find out. Hey, we'll have to find out because uh, at the yeah. same time, man, I, I honestly believe he is. And uh, I don't. I, I thought. I think he thought on it long and hard. And I think he, you know, Rojo, like I know Flacco, he wouldn't even consider something or say something unless he was willing to go that that route. See, that's the thing is, I I don't know how to predict this fight because I I, I you know what I mean I have to see how each one of them trains. I I seen boxers ready. I got to see how uh, Rojo's looking. We're gonna have to see a little bit of video tape on him. You know what I mean, so I can't put no predictions without. That's the best oh, yeah. thing about it. There's no tape to really compare either, either, any of these fighters at right now. All I know is yeah. that both of them – come on, this is on YouTube. Everybody's going to be watching, man. So I know what, they're going to bring it, period. I mean, oh, you, can't, you can't expect nothing less, man, because I know, man, that's the one thing I'd be worried about is getting knocked out on YouTube. I'm going to tell you right now, these are the big boys. This is this is, this is is the – you. hey, remember, Flacco, when we were there at that fight, in those when those youngsters fought, you were hearing that shit, huh? Oh, yeah. Remember, so imagine the big boys cracking each other. You gonna yeah, hear everything else was going at it, man. That was a good fight. Oh, they fucking a hey, to be right there live. I j hey, I was in the dressing room and I heard them hit that guy, and I came out of the dressing room and me and uh uh uh, uh Big Daddy Joe Stevenson from the UFC sat there and watched the fight together, and he was like, "Damn, them motherfuckers are hitting hard right there." And he's mm -hmm. a UFC fighter. Yeah, they were hitting hard. I'm trying to get them back on your card, boxer. Yeah, rematch. You know. Hey, that was a fucking bad fight right there. I'm telling you right now. That was a good one. So Yeah, we'll announce it when when we get it locked in, but I'm pretty sure we got uh we got some other UFC fighters too, huh? Right, Flacco? Yeah, we got a couple other cats we're looking into, man. Uh mixed martial arts fighters. Um uh, actually uh I sent I sent the link to that one dude that was in that fight gunner. Um because he reached out to me. I sent that to Mike the Slinish for his uh Instagram. He's really interested in, in attending this fight. So, yeah, um, we're, that second that second fight may be a rematch, may be possible, or at least one of those guys is willing to attend. We've already talked to him. So we yeah, got a couple that, interesting that. interesting people, man. Me and Mike need to do a little bit more follow up, man. But we've been discussing a lot with, with fighters. A lot of you guys are on right now. You guys have talked to me about the tickets. Like I said, there's already only twenty left at this time, man. So please check in with me, man. If you're really interested in going, it's a first come first serve basis. You know, more details will come out as this fight goes along. But as like we're telling everyone, this fight is going to happen in November. It's going to occur in California. And within within at least a month of the fight, we should be able to give you a location of the area where you're going to want to stay before this fight occurs. Absolutely. And I will tell you again, let me reiterate on Gunners Collective channel. I again will be doing two golden ticket winners, all expensive paid by me. And you will be right there in my entourage. You will be right there with me backstage, VIP, meeting Flacco, meeting Boxer, meeting Rojo, and whoever else attends. I promise there will be celebrities in attendance. There will be uh, a lot of hand in attendance. So, I mean, you're all with me, you know. So, uh, if you're interested in that, I will be giving you the details later on this week uh, on my channel. And then we'll go from there. But there will, again, be two golden ticket winners to this event. That's right, game tight. I see you, boy. Yeah, how did that work out last time, uh, Gunner? The, the oh, that was perfect, man. Uh, 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 Bean from Modesto actually won, uh, who's now a, a, a friend of mine. You know what I mean? We kick it all the time. Uh, so, yeah, he, he was a real one, and he could tell you, man, uh, they didn't even have to pay for an hour later. You know what I mean? Everything was furnished. Uh, and then uh, I forget the chick's name, man. It's been a minute, but uh, Patricia. Patricia out of Porterville, Tulare County. She uh, actually won, too. And, uh, yeah, it was all expensive paid, motel rooms. Uh, 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 I mean, nothing, man. They just they just went for the ride, and, and they got to experience, you know, everything that went into, you know, being backstage in a fight of that caliber. This is going to be even bigger, so I promise this is going to be have a lot more, you know, perks to it. But, I mean, they, they didn't have to pay for food, gas. We picked them up. We dropped them off. That's they were just up. like one of, the, one of the crew, you know, it was one of the crew. You got in, and if we had a flat tire, they were gonna struggle with us. So, what I'm saying is, it's it's the it's the official VIP treatment. You get to be part of the crew, part of the team. So, 
Yeah. There's nothing like it to to attend an event like this that not a lot of people are going to actually uh, get to, you know? Hey, thank you, Luis Sanchez. Yeah. Um, let me let me try this one more time. Spencer, Spencer. Let me take it at this time, just so you guys know, man, we just start, dropped the interesting video, too. When you guys are done with this live, please check tap in your convicts perspective because I was going through the analytics. It seems like most of our viewers are watching this channel, so... When you guys are done with our live, please tap in, man. We dropped a banger today, me and Rojo. Yeah. When you guys drop it on uh, Flacco? We dropped it on Ashley. Lee. Orale, lizard. Okay, yeah, I'm going to go over there and trip out on it. Hey, it's That's all right. good. Uh, it's all good. What is that? Conquer 925? Hey, man, it's it's all it's all love, man. That's your boy. It's all good. I ain't mad at you, Conquer 925. Like nah, I said, man, not this. even a little bit. This is the road to war, the official battle of the of the bay. Uh, all business, man. Personal. Con 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 Conquered nine two five sounds like he's in love with Rojo. <laughs> uh, what, what, what 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 do you say about Rojo this time? Man, talk about fucking. He picks people up off the ground. He ain't scared to fight. You know what I mean? But I know yeah. Rojo. I, I know Rojo's no punk. I've heard from myself that he got hands. I've heard, I've heard people call him the white Mike Tyson. So we'll see. You know what I mean? Hey. I actually, and this, I'm going to be totally honest with you. I actually, uh, I've heard from people too. Hey, Come I've on, heard, man. and this it's is totally, scary, hey, man. Hey, this to be totally honest, Boston, <laughs> that I actually, uh, I chop it up with, 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 with someone close to Rojo, right? And, uh, one night, man, he was telling me stories, right? And he, man, he told me about Rojo knocking motherfuckers out and throwing them in garbage cans. And she, I was yeah. like, what? Hey, what was that? Was that, was that old boy that, the old, old boy that we, that was there that night? Nady Nate. You know, Nate. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He was telling me, he was like, man, back in the days. And like, like I said, man, uh, 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 Rojo's getting up there in age as well as you are, boxer. So, but hey, a man never forgets, man. It's like riding a bike, man. You don't never forget, you know? Yeah, so, definitely. It's going to, uh, like I said, man, we could sit here and we can go war story for war story and fight for fight and, and talk all that. At the end of the day, man, hey, every day is different. Let's just see what happens in that ring, man. I I just can't wait to see it. Yeah, that's what I'm that's what I'm talking about, man. What happened in the past, what happened 20 years ago, and what you seen yesterday, and man, I mean, it all sounds good, but we'll see what happens when we get in there, man. Most definitely, man. That's all we could do. That's at the end of the day, man. That's you know, people watch it to see the here and now, man. That, you know, whatever happened yesterday, that that's yesterday. <laughs> Today is what we're elaborating on. Let's go. I'm ready. Three months can't go by fast enough. Nah, it's no. Not yeah. Yeah. And we yeah, might be not jumping good. the gun. Rojo might say, he might get on here and tell us to all go fuck ourselves, right? But at the same yeah. time, just saying, we're, this is one can only hope. Yeah, he ain't going to do that. What happened with Lizard's book and how can I check out what's been put out from it? lizard's book from what i know about it it was probably like around six chapters man i don't even think he finished it um you remember did you ever see his book flacco you know i heard man but you mean you know that dude bounces bounces around from trying to go the legit lifestyle to thinking he's still fucking some uh, uh high profile gangster you know what i mean hey i could tell you a trippy story boxer right mm. without uh without giving up a location trip out on this um so I get out one of my fans. He hits me up on Instagram, and he's a cool dude. I've been talking to him, a little Southsider cat, and he's from out of state. And that I think I don't know if I told Box uh, uh, Black of the Story. I know I told Rojo. I know and, the story. Uh, yeah, so we get to chopping it up, and and then uh, I dropped my spill on Asha Lee, right? Dropped yeah. my spill on Asha Lee, whatever the case may be. He gets at me, and he's like, "Bro, I got a story to tell." So we're getting back to each other on vo you know the voice messaging. And he tells me this story how he was working at this uh, cannery or factory and and uh, he meets this guy, bigger white guy, meets some big old wit, takes a liking to him. The dude's fucking with him, dude tells him that he's a Sureño or whatever, right? Being that this little youngster's a Sureño, they hit it off. That's all good, right? He says about a month later is when that gangland came out. That You know, the one with the NF gangland where fucking yeah. uh, Austin was on there, Casper? Yeah, he's seen this and his eyes got about this big because the same guy that fucking he's seen on gangland is the guy he's been fucking with. Right. So he says uh -oh. that 
he goes and approaches him and says, hey, bro, that was you, whoop de whoop And that Asha Lee puts something to his head and told him, shut the fuck up and do a pushing. Asha Lee shows up at his house and says, yeah, it was me, but this is the get down. And then tells a story of how he always was an MM member that infiltrated the NF on behalf of the MN. This is what he tells the youngster. I heard the same thing, man. I actually, actually, I actually brought that up in, in um, the video today. Hey, and that, and look at that same story. Like Flacco says, was was actually related to us from someone of a totally different caliber of source, meaning someone that fucking would know what was going on, right? Yeah. For this youngster, he would not never even know these type of people, right? So this youngster tells me that that this is what Asha Lee's telling him. And then he tells me, and so then he tells me that fucking, uh, he just trips out. And I said, well, how do you know it's him? He says he got East Bay on his back arm, some dragon, do it among. I mean, he described him to the T and I just tripped me out. And he was like, he goes, you want to trip out on this? I said, what? He said, the motherfuckers asleep on my couch right now. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? Right. Yeah, I was tripping. But, yeah. Hey, hey, I didn't, I mean, I had the whole story, but, uh, quite contrary to what everyone thinks that I'm recording everyone, I, I still got the shit. I just never released it. I'm not trying to give up anyone's whereabouts or whatever they got going on in life. It's just, that's the one thing where I knew he told the truth because the same story that he told me concerning what Ashley told him is what yeah. we had heard from an inside source of a high caliber. So this is his story, bro, that he was an MM member that fucking uh, infiltrated the NF on behalf of the MM. This guy's always driving around in his little fucking jalopy right here, man, with his crazy glasses, man. <laughs> For me? Yeah. Yep. Like, yeah, I, 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 I'm, 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 I'm living that I'm living that domesticated life, bro. Where, Where are you I going? Get to those glasses, man. Huh? Where can I get me some of those glasses right there? Man, these are prescription, bro. I bought them online. Hey, 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 uh, boxer. Those are the Deniro's from Casino. Remember? Man, I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to get man. My Italian bloodline, man. Those are the Robert De Niro's. Yeah. Let me see. Mr. C says, bust a spread, man. Man, I don't even want... I, man, I, I, I cannot bust a spread on the streets. It doesn't taste the same, man. Flacco looks like Ace from Case Casino. From casino? <laughs> I wish I had paper like Ace from Casino. I'd be good. Um. Yeah, he had a little paper on. Huh? So he has to pay for that. Anyways, anyways, man, I'm going to tap in with a Rojo gentleman, and uh, I'm sure by now he's seen this. Someone's went on, called him, told him, uh, whatever the case may be. I know he's like, these guys put me on Johnny on the spot. But at the same time, man, like I said, it's 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 what the people have been wanting, man. And, and you can't really deny the people. You can only go. You can only deny the people so much before you have to kind of concede, you know? So, yeah. like I said, it's not totally uh, uh, on him. The man is willing and able. He told me that out of his own mouth. I could tell you that right right now. Um, it's all hinges on doctors. You know, whatever the doctor says, man. Hey, but yeah. all bullshit aside, man, I, I, you guys can pretty much damn near count on it because Rojo's going to look at this and gonna be like, fuck, man. You know what I mean? So, I mean, you always got to do what you got to do for your health. Health comes before anything, man. You can't play with yeah. that shit. Oh, but I guarantee you if – He's able to do it. I know he'll be there. I mean, I, I, oh. I can't see why. Uh, I can't see why he wouldn't, man. No, and 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 to tell you the truth, man, I've been like I said for the past week, man. I've been chilling over there with Rojo, or, or we got, we've been doing a lot of moves. And I can tell you right now, he's uh, he, he he's looking healthier than ever. So yeah, that's right, Artie. Um, yeah, you know, hopefully everything goes good, and uh, hopefully the doctor don't see nothing that he's not aware of. Because uh, I asked him, I said, well, how's your health feeling? You know, I wanted to know. So that way we I didn't bring it to your plate. I didn't bring, you know, didn't, I didn't want to put my foot in my mouth. And uh, he says, I feel fucking great as he was chewing on the steak, right? So we'll see. Man, that's not good for him. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, you got you to gotta, you gotta treat yourself sometimes. All the time, bro. Yeah. Always treat yourself. You got to treat yourself all the time, man. Yeah, yeah well. That AC. That's right. Rojo with the business. Boxer and Rojo is the one to see. Toro versus Savvy Sav. <laughs> let's, uh, again, let's take a little poll, uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't been in early. If you want 
Boxer to win, you hit the one. If you want Rojo to win, you hit the two. It's not who you want. It's who you think is going to win. Well, who you want, who you think, what, whatever. You know oh, what I mean? Rojo, Rojo's in here unless that's unless that's a, a clone to fucking uh, Rojo account. Does it say Senor Rojo? It says Senor Rojo. That hey, was clone. Huh? Big. Yes, it is. Big. He said straight Rojo. ear hustling. Take my head. Straight ear hustling. <laughs> that, that's him. That's him. Hey, hey tap in uh, Rojo. Real Come quick. Get in time. Just for like two minutes. Y'all cold, man. Yeah, we're cold. Cold. Hey, hey, hey. Now all of a sudden everybody's quitting too because they know Rojo's on the comments. Hey, you want hey you want to know the funny thing? I'm gonna tell you hey, this that's right how you now. Guys, that's hey, how you guys feeling now, huh? Hey, this this is how there it's coming down to too. Hey, it's coming down to the point where motherfuckers are so scary out there in the YouTube world that we're having to fight ourselves around this motherfucker. You know Damn, I mean? imagine that. Shit. I America, come on, man. come on, man. Boxer beat the brakes off that dude. Ooh. Who are they talking about? Don't tell me they're mentioning Gill in, in our in this platform. Oh man, can you believe that? Come on, come on, bro. Boxer knocked that snaggle tooth out his mouth, bro. Stop yeah, that shit. Easy hey, money. Come on, bro. Give us two minutes, man. Yeah, that dude's a man. That dude's he doesn't even count around. He's a construction worker. About to leave where he's at. Tell him to hey, tell him I feel I got some framing for him to do if he wants to get paid. I mean, you could do my stucco. <laughs> That's it. I got some sheetrock for his ass. Apparently, I, don't think, I, don't think that, I don't think that's a Rojo because Rojo would have jumped in. I think I that's a clone, man. No, that was Rojo. Hey, text him, uh, text him and tell him to give us two minutes. Ro that was that was Rojo, man. He may he may be a little little uh, he may be thinking about the decision. You know what I mean? He could be. He could be. You know. He could be. So there he is right there. I'm about to, my boys, in three minutes. Okay. Hey, if you ain't Rojo, you uh, you definitely played me, man, because I, I think that's him. Well, we'll find out. I just text him. Give me one minute, guys. Oh, man, what you Right now, he's ordering. I take it to the with you, bro. Huh? He took us in the banyo with him, bro. Nah, that motherfucker's in Starbucks ordering a double blonde, an extra uh, large grande. Hey, where you I'm at? You in the you... Huh? Where you at? At a park? Yeah, I'm at a park real quick. Oh, I thought you went to Starbucks. No, I'm not at Starbucks, man. That's a fucking restaurant. Oh, right I was telling Boxer, you're getting your double blonde, extra. <laughs> I already know what you get. I already, I already know your your order. White man's white man's coffee. That's you right. Get that right. blonde, that blonde mocha. Hell yeah. Yeah, that hey, that's Rojo. That definitely is Rojo. Uh uh, Boxer. All right, he said three minutes. He's gonna tap in. Yeah, he told me that's him. Give me three so minutes. Ladies and too. gentlemen, we will have Rojo in the building. We will have Rojo and uh like I said, man, uh, we'll let him speak for himself. At the end of the day, man, he's not going to be able to give us a concrete decision until this doctor says what they got to say. But you guys are going to hear it out of his own mouth, man. Uh, Gunner don't play, man. Boxer don't play. We're not going to sit here and waste an hour of your time for some bullshit, man. We're just going to give it to you on all parties and, and the real. Yeah, one, one time for your mind. One time for your fucking mind. We got to – we because I want the people to know that I do have their best interest at heart when it comes to uh, to giving them what they want. You know, you know, you got to understand in life, man. You can't can't get everything you want. But uh, we're gonna do the best we can, man, on our platforms to give you guys the content that you ask for. Just like Boxer, man, he he takes requests on the books. You know, he asks the people, he pulls the people which books they want him to read. Uh, uh, he gets filled, puts his fillers out there, and, and then does it on my channel, man. I go on Instagram. I kind of ask the people, you know, kind of what they want to hear about. And we go from there. You know, we're not here. Of course, we're here to benefit ourselves. But at the same time, we're also here to push the information along that the people want to hear. We're not here to sugarcoat shit. You know what I mean? So, Flaco's in the baño right now. Yeah. See? I'm telling the truth. <laughs> mm -hmm. That was fucking white, Flaco.
Yeah, Rojo says he will be getting on right now. <sighs> uh, what we got going on here? What's the um, link? I'm going to put it in the uh, chat box, Rojo. It's, def it's definitely going to be, um, man, it's definitely going to be an event. Like I said, this is a. Uh, this is the one right here. Out of all these YouTube fights and everything that I've seen, I haven't seen nothing that's really like, uh, I don't know, you know. Of course, anything involving Savage, people don't like him, so people want to see him get beat up. But at the end of the day, it's cool to see someone get beat up. Uh-oh. Nah, that's that's a fake one. That wasn't him. That wasn't him, I guarantee. That's Big Rojo. <laughs> And in that fashion. What's up, gentlemen? Hey, that's a big know, old monster right there. Flocka's in the toilet right now. He had to do his Vaseline squats. Yeah, he's in there putting his legs behind his ears. What's going on? Hey, uh, uh, we got to talking right here, man. Man, look at all yeah, the I out. got notified via Instagram. I got called out. Hey, Rojo looks like he'll beat someone up. Straight up. Hey, Rojo ain't playing, bro. That motherfucker's strapped. I got me a super soaker, too, bro. <laughs> hey, who's up? Yo, what up? What up? What's cracking, guys? What the, the hell, hell is that? What's cracking lacking, man? Hey, who? who I want to get down with anybody on the fight. Does you guys have yeah, any anybody on the card? Oh, I'm about to spend I don't want to interrupt any of you guys who are already chopping it up. It's me, M Dog, from YouTube and shit. Hey, that's right. You want to get down with some? Hey, tap in and dog with the uh, tap in with the uh, comics perspective, man. With Flacco and uh, see what he's got going on, bro. If anybody can tell you what's up, it's gonna be him. All right, hell yeah. Well, hey, well, you guys got anybody? I'll give you guys my Gmail and shit. Hit me up. I'll show up. I'm from I'm from Cali and shit. I'll show up, bro. Palabra, I'll show up. How much you weigh, bro? I weigh two twenty. I'm six one, and uh, you know I'm with it. Shit, I'm down. Sounds Just good, me. man. Yeah, hey, uh. Do you follow me on Instagram? No, nah, I don't even have no social media. Dog. I only have YouTube and shit. Okay, hey, just uh, j hey, which hey, Gunner, give me your email or somebody give me their email. Uh, hey, look at trip out. What is that? Hey, what do they call you, M Dog? Yeah, they call me D Block, but I just put M Dog on my shit. Okay, I'm gonna go under your name, M Dog, right here on this platform, and I'll shoot you some information to get a hold of you, bro. Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. I appreciate it, man. Hey, but anyways, I'll, even yeah, if you guys can or you guys can, I'll be much appreciated. I just put that down on my fucking, uh, okay, I'm, I'm looking forward to be there and whatever it is, I'm there too as well, you know? Orale, I'm going to appreciate it, man. Hey, but anyways, even if you guys can or you guys can, I'll be much appreciated. Orale, I'll take you guys in the building. Okay, I'm looking forward to be there and whatever it is, I'm there too as well, you know? Orale, I'm going to appreciate it, man. Hey, but anyways, even if you guys can or you guys can, I'll be much appreciated. Orale, I'll take you guys in the Man, Don't be bashful. Hey, what's happening, brother? I just picking up the, the baby from school. He just got done working. Wanted to check in with you fellas. Man, I'm excited about everything you guys got going on. Hey, we appreciate you, bro. We appreciate you. Yeah, man, Do it, you guys, man. Thank you, man. Yeah, we appreciate that, man. No doubt about it, brother. Thank you. Highly. You know? Tune into the fight, bro. Yeah, man. In. All right, Likewise. homie. Thank you for tapping in. Likewise, brother. Thank you. There we, there we are. Other than, you know? Tune into the fight, man. Hey, this guy. Right, Other than Niner. You, What's up, Niner? Likewise, brother. Thank you. There we, there we are. Other than, you know? That dude was on Skonte for reals. Where's uh, Rojo? I don't know. Where'd he go, man? Tell him tap in. Rojo, get back on here, bro. There was too many. There was a guy all on Skonte, tweaked out, and all kinds of shit. Get on here. Yeah, I ain't gonna let nobody else in, man. Uh, yeah, guys, yeah. Just, just let's uh, let's get he, Rojo in. Maybe Flacco in. Uh, and then we could uh, we could we could ask some questions, you know. <laughs> can't, can't act like we're 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 intruding on a, a, a private moment or something, man. 
Oh no, ain't no one ain't no one intruding on no private moment. You know, it's all for the people at the end of the day. It's just uh we want to give you guys the best we can. Oh, he don't have very good service. Hey, see, just just pop back in, Rojo, see what uh see what happens before we close this up, man. You know somebody named Big D. Big D, I can't call it. Why what'd he say? Trying to get in. I don't I don't know who that is. Yeah, we'll let we'll let you in next time, Big D. We're uh we're about to close this up if uh, Rojo jumps back on, man. Yeah, he uh I don't think he's gonna jump back on. Rojo, try to jump back on real quick. Just want to ask you something real quick. It'll take two minutes, man. Yeah, uh, most definitely, man. Is I'm, I'm thinking. Uh, all we could do, botchers, is just wait. You know, we're just gonna play the waiting game with the, uh, all the rest of the hand, man. That's all we yeah. can pretty much do now. Like I said, you you did your part. You issued the the challenge. Obviously, Rojo uh, has heard it. Like he said, he just came on. I, he heard about it on Instagram already. At the words traveling. So the official, you know, and I know in the past that you've you said, man, you were willing to see Rojo, but this is an official call out right here, meaning yeah, this is this it is last it. Time. Last time we just kind of talked about it, man. But this, yeah, this is, this a, is official. Call out right here. Yeah, last time it was kind of, hey, I'll see you, you see me, whatever. You know, a lot of hand homeboys do that. Hey, fuck it, we could get down there. And, but this right here is on a professional level, uh, in the ring, not to fight. Not to fucking scratch, not to slap box, not to arm wrestle. This is a fucking exhibition fight in the middle of a squared circle, in the middle of a ring to be attended by gente on pay-per-view or uh, on demand. Um, you know, yeah. this is what's going to happen. Hey, right, so, Mr. Goyle, uh, on something, huh? Yeah. Yeah, so, so we'll see yeah. We'll see if uh, uh 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 you know like I said it all it all hinges on Rojo's doctor, and that's it, man. There's there's nothing more to be said on it other than fucking the moment that we get this uh uh, uh response on uh Comics Perspective channel, and we'll take it from there. Uh, depending upon this response, uh, later on in the week on my channel, I will be doing something uh elaborately with Boxer as well as Rojo. Um. And then we'll we'll discuss it. You know, I have both fighters on, and we'll discuss uh, uh, game plan, strategies, what they plan on going and they're doing to each other. You know, but uh, yes, the link right now. Yeah, roll ask for the link. Okay, he's gonna get on here. There he yeah. is. And hey, you guys are about to cut a video right now, Gunner. No, 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 no. Not right now. I, I think they did their video already. You guys about to do a video roll? No, I don't think so. I thought, I thought, Flacco, you said you guys were going to hook up right now. Here's Flacco. Um, Flacco, Flacco just says what everybody wants to hear. Yep, exactly. <laughs> How'd you know? My phone died, man. Mm -hmm. That toilet did too. When you did what you did to it. Hey, so what's up? Hey, Rojo. Uh, I, t I told everybody. It's what I told boxers, what I told everybody. Um, everything is depending on a doctor, right? Yeah, I'll find out Monday morning. Yep, yeah, we're gonna find out from this doctor. And I said, you know, after that, we'll go from there. But we don't want, you know, there's by no means is this, hey, Rojo's accepting this, this, and that. And then, you know, anyone look at it like, oh, any other type of way. Like I said, man, it's all doctor's orders at the end of the day. It's all about people being safe and uh, being healthy, you know. I, I I accept I accept the offer. Um, I'm I'm ninety. Let's say I'm ninety percent sure I'll be able to. 
I just want to make sure I ain't got no like the what what I'm worried about, man, is is the shit that I have, man, it makes your intestinal walls weak and I don't want to get punched by this big motherfucker and have some no, fucking man. you know your you intestines, hey, you know what I mean? Your health is more important than anything, bro. We understand that. Not trying to put you on the spot, man, but uh the other thing that I that Oh I let, yeah, that's obvious. The other <laughs> thing that I let a lot of these say on the real though. Huh. On the real though, the other thing I let these guys know, man, is uh, you know, the last time we jumped on there, man, we talked about it, bro. And uh, I noticed that some of the comments people were saying that uh, and boxer called Rojo out, and Rojo, you know, Rojo didn't say nothing, and uh, you know, like I like I told them, man, I've been knowing you since you were. Oh, little, I was I was scared since you were a flat chested kid, bro. You know what I mean? And uh, like I told everybody, man. It, it wasn't that you were scared. I know you, bro. You know what I'm saying. So, don't get it fucked up. It's just. His oh, I didn't think that. I didn't think that at all. That's just a little groupies. They like to talk shit. Yeah, I, I know, man. But uh, I'm putting it out there anyway, bro. You know, uh, uh, your health is more important, man. So that that that's all it boils down to. Like I said, if I know you, you'll be there, bro. You know what I mean. So, we'll see what happens, man. That's that's the fight that they want to see. Um, I'm sure you've been seeing it in your comments. I see it in my comments nonstop, bro. Boxer versus Rojo. Boxer versus Rojo. So, if it's within the uh, means of making it happen, bro, let's do this shit, man. Yeah, it's all good, man. We'll make a. We'll make. I'll, I'll let you know after I leave the doctor Monday, and then we'll uh, let it be known. Hey, you guys can uh, do the do the response on uh, on your guys' channel uh, um, Monday after you find out. Sounds like a plan. Man, it's hot as shit out here, boy. Well, there it is there, man. Uh, all of a sudden, nobody got nothing to say. I, hey. seen that dude, I seen that guy, Mad Dog, that tapped in right now. Mad Dog, I may have an opponent for you. Hit us up at Road to War VIP at gmail.com. That's R-O-A-D. The number two, War VIP at gmail.com. I may have a fighter for you. We have someone that we, that we have that's uh, about the same size. They're about six. They're about five eleven, two uh, two thirty. So that may be a uh, equally matched uh, fight. That'd be a good one. Yeah, I can't see none of the comments, you guys. Just so you know, I'm on my phone and it doesn't show them. Me, me as well. I don't see them. But if you got you got yeah. ignoring you or not answering. Hey, you got to tap, <clears throat> tap in on the uh the top uh, gunner, where it says comments up on the top. I I mind. I'm on the phone, bro. Mine's on the bottom. I'm on the phone. I can see all comments. I can't see shit. Oh, I can. I can, but I can't see you guys when I see the comments. Yep, yeah, that's exactly how mine is too. Okay. All right. So I can see the comments. Okay. What a hey, uh they're asking about what happened to little Toro. Ain't nothing happened to little Toro. We're just trying to bring the people uh uh what's you know what they want. This is what's been out there for a while. This is what people want. And like I said, man, it's just kind of thrown out there. Um challenges are issued, whatever the case may be. At the end of the day, man, um, it all depends on the doctors, man. It's OG, OG triple OG. Why did Gunner steal the charity money? <laughs> Hey, OG, 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 if you're going to, hey, if you're going to snitch on people, at least show your face while you're doing it. You can, hey, you're constantly talking shit about us, bro, but you're talking about, hey, everybody DM the Athletics Commission. Get these hey, guys. He had, he, had, he, had, he had to get a, a, a total vaginal rebuild for his mama. Yeah. yeah. Hey, check this out, Luis Talamantes. Motherfucker, I know you're in Frisco, bitch. And in that fashion. Oh, is that is that him right there? That's Bala, Bata. Hey, oh, that's no, Yogi's that's, fucking punk. Well, hey, that's Yogi's punk in prison. I got pictures <laughs> of them holding hands. Do I not roll? <laughs> is that the one? Is that the one that cuts the videos? Uh, hey, homie. Hey, homie. Is that the one? Hey, I'm thinking that is him. I'm thinking that's him. And if that is, man, you're way too old for this shit. You're damn near 89. Stop it. Stop it, bro. I'd hate to go in Frisco and fucking kick you right in your ass. Stop it. Stop it. Hey, he is a, hey, he is a, hey, no, he hey, he's not from Frisco. He lives in Frisco though. Oh man, what a what a dad. Hey, right there in the Castro district. 
doing his thing. He said, you guys look like the Ku Klux Klan. Yeah, well, whatever the case may be. Who said that, Chip OG? Nah, some Alejandro Ariano. Oh, I was about to say, you know he, hey, you know he's a black gorilla family uh, groupie. Triple OG wears his strap on. You know, Yogi, wore, Yo, that was Yogi's punk in prison. Hey, and even yeah, if, hey, even if, even if uh, he's not a triple OG, I mean everything I say, even to the real Luis Talamantes, because he's a punk too, <laughs> straight up in that fashion. Anyways, you know, yeah, man. Think, hey, in closing this up, no, no. you guys keep asking about Toro, and that shit's uh, hey, I'll definitely. Uh, you guys keep asking about Toro. You know, like I said, I probably should have. Paul Toto first, man, and I'm gonna talk to him. But the thing is, is it's because of your your guys's reaction that uh that I felt like that wasn't the fight, man, that everybody wanted to see. I wasn't getting the kind of welcoming that uh that that I I was expecting, man. Everybody was 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 sla basically slamming the fight. Why did you take that fight, little Toto? You know what I mean? You guys were calling him a J Cat and uh. I mean, so there's a better fight out there for Little Toto, or we could bring him in and let him perform. You know what I mean? Uh, little Toto will still be there. Nothing yeah, little, you got to respect Little Toto. Little Toto was still ready to get in the ring with, with Boxer. Yeah, most definitely. Hey, I, yeah, think, hey, I think, uh, like I was discussing with Boxer, Flacco, um, at the end of the day, man, uh, we stand behind Little Toto 100% in his music career, right, and hope that he revigorates that. So I wouldn't even mind seeing some of these hot songs that he's got, some of these new songs that he's been dropping, and maybe see him perform live at the fight, man. And uh, and you know maybe to 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 push his music out there to people that are out there. I mean, let's see the man do what he does best. Uh, uh, fighting was was like I know we understand everyone can street fight, but boxing is different. It takes you out of your element. Let's see this man do what he's comfortable at doing the best, which is rapping. So you know. Like I said, the the if he still wants to fight, if that's what he wants to do, it's extended to him. The 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 hand is extended, but uh, I I'd much rather see him put on a concert for the people. Hell yeah, Just no, Dusty, Dusty, that's my homie right there, man. Yeah, most definitely, Gunner. Yeah. Cool. Anyways, I'm out of here, gentlemen. I gotta fucking do a few interviews. But all right, bigger fizz for a wait. Yeah, man. Uh, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a bounce too, man. Um, uh, hey, but check out uh, that. One more thing, check out that video we just dropped, man, on a comics perspective, man. The banger. No, nah, man, you guys don't want to see that shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> Look at, hey, I'm going to tell you the beginning, the middle, and the end. Ashley <laughs> was a Ashley became a Norteño, Ashley told. That's it, bang. Oh, man, you guys think, man. It's a, it's a banger, man. Hey, but, uh, yeah, no, check out the video, man. Uh, Flacco feels like he ain't getting no love over there right now, man. Hey, but like we said, man, we'll see what happens Monday. Um, we'll see what happens Monday. If I know Rojo, he'll take the fight if he can do it, if it's within his means. So we'll see what happens, man. Other than that, uh, hey, I appreciate you guys tapping in, man, and uh, I'll be back. Maybe Most tomorrow. definitely. We'll, we'll tap back in maybe tomorrow, uh, Flacco. All right. I'll be ready. All right. All right. I'm going to close it up, man. You guys have a good one. Yeah, you wait to say that all the way until the end, huh, AC? All right, you guys, I'm going to close.